What's up, y'all? Caesar here at the shoot around. I'm here with my man, Corey Homicide Williams, ATR athlete, New York City street ball legend. Uh, I'm just going to talk hoops today before we get our shoot around on. So we're just going to jump right into it. First question uh, What's your first memory of basketball? Like the first time you can remember, like looking down, having a basketball in your hand? Well, that's going to go way back. It's going to go like one day I was bored. And my brother played with Riverside Church. He had a game at Millbank. And I had nothing else to do. I was not involved in basketball at all. I'm Jamaican. I was kicking soccer balls on the block. <laughs> and I was bored. And I said, oh, I'll just go to your game. I got nothing else to do. And I went down to Millbank. And I watched and it was love at first sight. And I remember at halftime, I would get on the court. You know, mess around with the yeah, ball a little yeah. bit. You know how it is with the little kids that get yeah. on the court. Then they kick you off when the game about to start. So, I mean, actually, that was my first time, really. So, how old were you around? 12. 12? Okay. That was love at first sight for me that day when I saw him play. I was like, yo, I just want to play this game. I'm not good, but I just want to learn and want to play this game. And that's when it began for me. That's when the, the love of basketball, that's when I met my true love. So, all of us as ball players growing up, like, we kind of develop certain skills quicker than others. Some people are better shooters, some people rebounds. Ever. So what was like your tough skill that you didn't have coming up that now you're good at? I think it was just the mental toughness and just my ability to really penetrate. Like that was, that's learned from years and experience. So when you first started out, that was that was hard for you to just yeah, it was hard because I didn't really know how to cut and there's angles, there's different dynamics to penetrate, you know, and you don't really know that and understand it until you're in that situation, you know, and just squeezing through two or three defenders, you know, because out here in the playground, like, you're not, there's no more single coverage when you're, you're when you're a top tier level player out here, you know, so they're bringing two and three guys to defend you and then now you can play zone out here. So to still be able to be effective with the zone and getting doubles and triples, um, you definitely have to know the dynamics of cutting. It's almost like a running back. Okay. You know how to cut through and get right. through those gaps and spaces. You know, there's an art to it. So, I mean, as a professional athlete, like basketball is your life. That's your job, unlike most other people's flip, like where basketball is a hobby to them. That's your actual job, your profession. So when you're not playing basketball, what are you doing to like escape from basketball? I mean, honestly, a lot of times I like just kicking back, relaxing. Sometimes I like doing nothing. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of nightlife. <laughs> you know, um, you can catch me at events. You know, we did fashion. You catch me from anywhere from chilling with my guy in the Hamptons all the way to Fashion Week to just chilling in this park. Okay. You know, I consider myself a well-rounded individual, and um, I do a lot of different things. You know, I might just go to Lincoln Center mm -hmm. and just go catch, go listen to some jazz. You know, okay. and that's what I do. You know, you never know what you can. I'm a jack of all trades, man. I do it all. You know, you can catch me anywhere in this city, and it wouldn't be a surprise. Okay, so outside of the, you know, the obvious NBA, you know, goal, like what's the goal that you have other than that, like right now that you're striving for that's related to basketball? I'm not, I'm not striving for the NBA. I'm happy in my own skin where I'm at, uh, which is playing ball on a high level internationally. Um, traveling is the best education. I would not have become as well-rounded as I am had I played in the NBA. Because a lot of those guys don't even have passports. And if they do, it's only to get stamped to play in Canada when they go play the Raptors. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or yeah. nowadays, um, NBA Europe, when right, they do the right, tour. Right, yeah. But outside of that, a lot of those guys have never seen half the things that I've seen. Right. So I'm, I'm on my second passport. Not too many people can say that. You know, so um, I love traveling abroad. You know, I love uh, taking in different cultures and different life experiences and uh, that's what made me the, the person that I am off the court today so I mean I wouldn't change anything. So what can we expect for you know we saw what happened this past summer big summer in NYC what can we expect for next year? Um, I think even bigger I think above the rim is gonna go to a whole nother level and just to be leading that pack you know it's just gonna be an amazing thing. That's what, I, that's what I think. Expect major things for myself and an ATR next summer. Okay. Cool. Well, enough talking. You know, we're going to go get our shoot around on. Thanks for saying what yeah, else. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. It's time right. to hoop now. Let's go get some shots out. Yeah.